I'm Angela Hardy, Personal Transformation Specialist, and I teach people how to be free, amongst other things. I was having this discussion with my husband about what would we do if we won the lotto. And the lotto was 135 million rand. It's a fair amount of Tom. You could do a whole lot with 135 million rand. And so blah, 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 blah. I do this and I do that. And I spend it like this and blah, blah, blah. But actually, that wasn't the most interesting part. Because before we knew it, what we were really starting to talk about was, does that amount of money constitute freedom? And what is freedom? And where does it really come from? And the conclusion that we came to was that freedom actually has got much more to do with emotional freedom. The ultimate freedom is the freedom of the mind. Because the truth of the matter is, with or without 135 million rand, you still have to live. And you still have to live in yourself, of yourself, from yourself. It wasn't very long ago that I was working with a retired woman and it was exactly this experience as we were talking about how she could really live because even though she'd worked her entire life to be retired so that she could then access this freedom, she still didn't have permission or the emotional freedom space to feel great in her life. And that's kind of sad, isn't it? You work and work and work and work for something, for this potential of suddenly being able to feel like, okay, now, now I can be happy. Now I can have what I want and do what I want and be what I want. And yet, even at that place and that point with that benefit, with that value, you don't get it. And I've worked with people who are supremely rich, supremely wealthy, and they don't have it either. And they don't have it any more than those people who earn an average Joe salary. And it's because ultimately freedom, real freedom, comes from great quality mind. And a great quality mind comes from great quality thinking. It comes from great quality attention to what the mind is up to. And it comes from the great understanding of how to work with that mind so that it brings up things that add value to our lives instead of constantly bringing up things that take away value from our lives. And those things are simple things. They're things like self-judgment and they're things like permission to be happy and they're things like um, who am I? What is the personality that I've created for myself over these years? And they're things like soothing those old traumas that that created our contraction and our defense against the world. That's the ultimate freedom, the ultimate freedom of life and the ultimate freedom of mind. And so don't get me wrong. I'd love 135 million. I could do a thing or two with that. But actually, the thing I'm most grateful for and most happy for is this ongoing growth of personal emotional freedom that I've experienced since I started to understand the nature of the mind, how it works to create our life experience and how we can work with it to create a really, really experiential life that feels free and valued and loved and enthusiastic and adventurous and open and loving and connected and so on and so forth. So... I don't know. Something to think about, huh? What is the ultimate freedom? And do you have it? Have a great day. Oh, by the way, like and subscribe. And if you'd like to work with me, I'll have my contact details at the end of this video.